Hello and welcome everyone to the Drishti IAS English YouTube channel. My name is Pragya and in today's episode of Environment Primer, we are running a series known as Death by Breath and in this series, we, today we will be discussing an important topic. The title of our today's discussion is Major Air Pollutants. So, the North India is reeling under severe effects of air pollution. So, we will try to study about what are the major air pollutants and how they impact our health. In this discussion, we will be studying about the major air pollutants and how they impact our health. We will also see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic. Uh, you know that uh, uh, North India is reeling under severe air pollution. That is why we are running this series of death by breath in which we are discussing air pollution in detail. And you know that air pollution is measured by AQI or the air quality index. So, what does this AQI does? It converts complex data of various air pollutants into a single number. So, let us analyze what are the major air pollutants that are causing the high amount of air pollution in cities like Delhi and Mumbai. And we will also see the health hazards that we are being exposed to by our this major air pollutants. Okay, so the first and the foremost air pollutant is the particulate matter. We have discussed this particulate matter in our very first episode when we were discussing air pollution. Okay. So, what is particulate matter? These are very small, small, fine, fine particles and the most famous ones are PM 2.5 and PM 10. So, what did they do? They could surpass your throat and nose and they could directly enter your circulatory system. Hence, causing various respiratory diseases like asthma, bronchitis, other such respiratory problems as and the lethal effect, effect can be heart attacks even. So, these are very fine particles that breach the barrier of your nose and throat and enter into your circulatory system. So, these are one of the major air pollutants in the country that are causing the air pollution because due to the lack of wind speed, they are not getting dispersed and hence they are settling down in the environment and causing various human health hazards. Okay. The next is nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide gets in the air from the burning of fossil fuels with sources including emissions from vehicles and power plants. So, the, the nitrogen dioxide is also a very common air pollutant and we definitely get this nitrogen dioxide by burning of fossil fuels, vehicular emissions, etc. The United States EPA or the Environmental Protection Agency states that short term exposure to high levels of nitrogen dioxide can aggravate respiratory diseases like asthma and lead to other problems such as coughing or difficulty in breathing. So, what is happening is nitrogen dioxide is also increasing in our air, hence polluting the air and hence you are suffering from runny nose, cold, cough, sore throat, you know, difficulty in breathing and various other such respiratory diseases. Not only this short form uh, exposure is causing you harm, but long uh, term exposure to nitrogen dioxide may also contribute to the development of asthma and could increase susceptibility to respiratory infection. You know, in Delhi what happens is many people are troubled by uh, asthma, respiratory diseases. This is very common in uh, Delhi, especially at the onset of winter. In fact, if you ask me about Delhi, then what happens is people are also dying by lung cancers. Delhi had this is recorded highest deaths by lung cancers in 2016 and this trend is continuing. So, these major air pollutants, they you know harm the respiratory system of the human. Then comes the very famous ground ozone. See, ozone is there in stratosphere and we have studied that ozone protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. But ozone is a gas that is present in the upper layers of the atmosphere protecting human health from the impact of sun's UV rays. Okay. However, surface level ozone is amongst the most significant air pollutants. So, see ozone also has a dual character. In one character, it is protecting us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. But 
सरफेस लेवल ओजोन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन एयर पॉल्यूटेंट ओके इट इज फॉर्म बाय द रिएक्शन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक पॉल्यूटेंट्स इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लाइट एंड दिस ओजोन कैन आल्सो कॉज वेरियस रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीजेस सच एज सीओपीडी ओके सो सीओपीडी इज कॉज्ड बाय सरफेस लेवल ऑक्सीजन एंड इट आल्सो डैमेजेस योर पल्मोनरी सिस्टम सो वेरियस अदर रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीजेस आर कॉज्ड बाय surface ozone then comes sulfur dioxide according to the us government's environmental protection agency the largest source of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere is the burning of fossil fuel and that is why we need to work on our 2030 climate change agenda that is why we are trying to switch on healthier alternatives to fossil fuel you know green hydrogen you know other such um, electronic vehicles etc that is why we are trying to stop the use of fossil fuels that we are using indiscriminately because sulfur dioxide is the common by product of fossil fuels which in turn is making our air poisonous in nature and other such industrial facilities so we often talk about human pollution but we often do not talk about the industrial pollution that is being caused industrial pollution also is a very common source of dust particles which form we settle down in the air and hence pollute the air okay additional sources are industrial processes and natural sources such as volcanoes so sulfur dioxide the most hazardous thing about sulfur dioxide is it can react with other particles to form particulate matter particles to form particulate matter which in turn is inhaled by us and which in turn is causing various breathing issues in us okay so this is the most hazardous uh, kind you know characteristic of sulfur dioxide that it can very easily react with other particles and form particulate matter okay then comes the ammonia or nh3 okay a 2017 nasa funded study said that in india a broad increase in fertilizer use coupled with large contributions from livestock waste have resulted in the world highest concentration of atmospheric ammonia so this is very harmful to us ammonia is present naturally in the earth but if you increase or the concentration of ammonia definitely you are going to face the adverse effects of ammonia as well in the troposphere troposphere is the layer of atmosphere where most of the human life survives where most of the life survives okay so the ammonia gas reacts with nitric and sulfuric acids to form nitrate containing particles those particles contribute to aerosol pollution that is damaging the human health so we'll discuss aerosol pollution in a separate video but this ammonia is leading to aerosol pollution if you ask me what is aerosol in very simple terms as of now it is a concentration of particulate matters okay so it is not a single particulate matters but a combination of various particulate matters that is causing pollution and leading to various health hazards okay then we come to another pollutant known as lead lead poisoning is very of common in children because they have a tendency of absorbing more lead than the adults and lead is also one of the major air pollutants lead is a naturally occurring toxic metal found in the earth crust but in increased quantities exposure to it becomes very uh, dangerous to health definitely excess of anything is bad same is the case with ammonia same is the case of lead also these substances are found naturally in the earth's uh, atmosphere but excessive use can uh, you know definitely increase the health hazards important sources of environmental contamination come from mining smelting manufacturing and even recycling activities according to the world health organization and lead poisoning is very common in children because they have a tendency to absorb lead from the atmosphere and it is leading to various health hazards in humans as well okay then comes carbon monoxide another important pollutant okay a toxic colorless and odorless gas it is given off in fuel containing carbon such as wood coal and petrol is burnt so carbon monoxide is also a concern and aqi measures the carbon monoxide as well okay 
so what happens is carbon monoxide can be lethal like it can cause immediate death in humans if carbon monoxide levels are high enough a person may become unconscious and die okay long term exposure has been linked with an increased risk of heart diseases so all of these major air pollutants are attacking two of our vital organs firstly our respiratory system and secondly the heart okay so these are very dangerous to our uh, human life so with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion we have seen the major air pollutants and how they cause various respiratory and heart disease in us and why they are leading to uh, increased air pollution in north india so definitely we need to take uh, air pollution seriously because it is a reoccurring problem it is not a problem that occurs and has gone no it occurs every year and these were some of the important air pollutants which we have discussed in our uh, discussion today now let us see a practice question for your prelims examination so the question is with reference to the effects of lead on human health which of the following statements is are true your statement number 1 is smooth and easy running of vehicles your statement number 2 is produces injurious effects on kidney and liver your statement number 3 is lowers intelligence of children which of the uh, select the correct answers from the following codes your options are option a is only one option b is only one and two option c is only two and three and option d is one two and three kindly drop your answers in the comment box below now let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination so the question is what are the major air pollutants discussed so you'll write about the major air pollutants such as I have discussed in my lecture today, and you will write that air pollution is a concern, like a persistent concern, and it happens every year at the onset of winters. So, you'll mention the various air pollutants I have discussed today in my lecture, and you will conclude that we need a comprehensive policy to, you know, tackle with the ill effects of these air pollutants and as well as the air pollution, and you can conclude holistically. Okay. I hope this session was insightful for you. I would also like to take this opportunity to introduce our 50% discount on various online courses as well as pen drive courses and test series on the occasion of Diwali from 10th to 14th November. Discounts are also going on, 50% discount is also going on GS Foundation course, Prelims Plus Main, that is. Uh, going live on Drishti Learning App. So, you can explore the Drishti Learning App and avail the benefit of 50% discount that will help you in boosting your preparation. If you have any feedback regarding the session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you found the today's discussion to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.